in a simp economy elapsed, leftover women and gold diggers are crying out loud that men stop chasing them. And this was suggested by you guys. Please like subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. See that. Ciao. It's Ciao time. Speak from the heart. I am considered an older single woman by the public. She's 39? She looks like a kid still. She looks like she's 19 or 16 or something. 39 years old this year. I have a master's degree and have never been married. Actually, there are two types of leftover women. One is the ordinary single older woman, and the other is a high quality single woman high like quality? me. I'm still single despite going on many blind dates because my overall qualities are too outstanding, making it hard to find someone who matches me. I don't want to settle, so I remain single. I also found that men around me are very superficial. They only look at your appearance and age, not your inner qualities, no matter how high my education. <laughs> and you're superficial because all you want is money and someone to be in your own status. That's superficial. So yes, they care about looks and your fertility and your youth or how excellent my overall qualities are because I am already 39 years old I have lost my value in the marriage market yes, you have. over yes, the years you have. I have insisted that my dowry must be 580,000 yuan I am looking for a first marriage with someone who has not married yet not someone marrying a second or third time so the only thing I can do is continue so she wants <laughs> She wants a single man that does really well, that has never been married, or... <laughs> the Superman syndrome gets even more focused at this point. I need to wait for my true soulmate. True soulmate, guys. These remarks directly scared off many male netizens. And you see the, the mentality of these women and why they get this mentality? Because there's so many men simping over them. There's so many men messaging them, sending them red envelopes, sending them all these things. So they just see, they just think, oh, I can just pick the best one I can. And then they kept waiting for the best one. And now they can't even get one. They commented, you say average men are scary, but aren't average women just as frightening? Demanding a house, a car, and a dowry, 580,000 yuan yep. alone would take us half a lifetime to save. Forget marriage, just bury us already. The collapse of the simp economy has made it impossible for gold. So did the drizzle drizzle movement all move all the way to China? Drizzle, drizzle, bitches. Gold diggers to control Simp's wallet. For single women, the dream of marrying a rich and handsome Prince Charming seems even more out of reach. Thus, on 520 day, a phenomenon emerged on one side, gold diggers getting nothing, and the other side, older single women lamenting, no man pays attention to me. <laughs> the so-called simp economy is a popular term that has emerged on the internet in mainland China in recent years. In the simp economy, simp describes those We have it here in the US, OnlyFans, the simp economy is huge. Who are excessively attentive and overly adoring of the opposite sex. And the main point is, despite their continuous dedication and attentiveness, they may not necessarily win the favor of the other person. The consumption generated by these simps in their efforts to please is collectively referred to as the simp economy. Mm -hmm. It must be said that Chinese capitalists have made a fortune off the simp economy. And those who are vain and willing to use their bodies and look to exchange for gifts and money, treating love as a business, are the gold diggers who rely most on the simp economy. They need men to buy, buy, buy for them. In fact, the rise of the May 20th festival is a consumer trap set by businesses. During good economic times, people don't care much about where their money goes, only whether they spend it happily. Only in economic downturns, when money is tight, do people become clear-headed and see through the capitalist schemes. The once romantic confession day may- Hell, even in the US, people don't see through these games. They just still spend, spend, spend. May 20th is now labeled as, by many men, as Gold Diggers Day. The <laughs> public opinion suggests this directly proves that men are waking up. In the past, the tradition of men Unilaterally drizzle, buying drizzle, gifts for women bitches. led to unequal spending and returns for men. Sometimes, if they bought oh, the wrong gift, or they, their drizzle drizzle definitely got moved over to China. Oh yeah, or oh, not yeah. enough. Instead of praise, they face criticism. 
Many now believe it's better to spend money on themselves or their families. Drizzle, Pursuing drizzle. a relationship not only requires money but also time and effort. For simps, the Chinese boys are in their soft guy era finally. Long term dedication does not bring certainty, only increasing sunk costs. Moreover, in the current economic downturn, the pressures from unemployment and housing prices. Young people are losing confidence. In Hell, dude, housing prices here are ridiculous. Anything in California is ridiculous. You know, the cheapest house in my neighborhood is what eight hundred thousand dollars, and ain't even that great of a house. It's probably a hundred years old house too. In the future, nowadays, many young people believe that making money is better than finding a partner.、Mm. In the midst of busy working schedules, managing a relationship that requires significant financial expenditures has become a burden. When times are good, they might have indulged a bit, but when money is tight and expectations are lowered, they have to consider cost effectiveness. With limited funds, investing in a vague dream seems less. Wow! Yeah, I see that. This simp presented the flowers to this very, very unattractive, overweight woman, and she just grabbed her friend's hand and just walked past. This is when women are being sought after at such a degree, because there's so few of them. Peeling, then spending on oneself and enjoying life in the present. Due to the collapse of the simp economy, businesses have experienced the worst sales on record for this May twentieth. <laughs> Scenes of ten yuan for five bouquets and piles of flowers and garbage bins seems to be announcing to the Chinese society there is no way we're spending money for love. Damn right. This was a scene on May twentieth this year. The video showed beautifully packaged flowers, which used to be the most sought-after items on this day, now reduced to ten yuan for five bouquets at streets. Ten yuan for five bouquets? That's dirt cheap. Stalls. Flowers. Ten yuan for five bouquets. Ten yuan for five bouquets. Despite this, there are still very few customers, and most of them are women. Yeah, I see. It's important to know that in previous years, these flowers were.